if you're like a lot of people, you got an air fryer for Christmas and you're probably wondering how to clean the darn thing because yes, you have to wash it because it gets pretty funky. So I'm going to show you how I clean mine. I have a Cook's Essentials and uh, let's get into that. <laughs> the air fryer and Instant Pot have changed the way I cook my meals like forever. I don't even know how I would cook if I didn't have these two appliances. Um, but the air fryer can get pretty nasty. So I'm going to show you um, what that looks like and how I clean it up. So here is my unit and um, you just pull your drawer out and uh, this is like pretty typical and um, it's pretty darn gross. So um, here's what you need to know about this unit. This little um, thing slides and you press down and then the basket comes out. So the bulk of your um, grease will go down into that bottom pan and then this is what they call your fry basket but you can see how uh, gross and gnarly that is. That all needs to be cleaned and I'm going to show you how I do it. So I just like put it back as one unit and I put it in the sink. Warm water and dish soap. I use a lot of soap. And I'm just going to fill it up. Yeah, you've got to get in and clean around all these little vents because, uh, I mean, it just gets gross. It collects stuff. <clears throat> if you don't keep it really clean, um, you know, it could start to affect the way your food tastes. So you, you want a nice clean fryer. Um, I don't do this super deep clean every time where I put it down and soak it, but um, I would say like every couple of weeks this is what I do. So just fill it with soapy water and it's not going to hurt anything. Just, you know, let it fill up. Let it, you know, run over the sides so that we know it's full. And <clears throat> while that's soaking, I'm going to uh, clean the unit itself. Let me show you how I do that. Just warm water, and I'm going to get a paper towel wet. Squeeze it out, and then uh, we're going to come over here. And this unit is unplugged. Okay, the way it works is you have this hot coil, that's your heat element, and then behind that is a fan. And that fan blows like crazy and it blows the heat all around the food. But, you know, it, the gunk winds up everywhere. So I'm going to take that paper towel and wipe that out because it's kind of gross. So, I mean, you can see, like, it gets stuff off of the, the inside. It's not perfect. I mean, if you, once you start using this, it's just going to get kind of nasty looking up here <laughs> at this part. But, um, you know, clean it up the best you can. I mean, that's really gross. Really gross. So, you know, you don't want to have, like, circulating funk all over your food. Because, you know, that's just... It's just gnarly and nasty. Nobody wants that. Okay, but the important thing to note here is that it's unplugged. It's off. So, um... You know, you don't want to mix water and electric. That's not a good combination. I don't care what realm you live in, that's never a good combination. <laughs> I'm just gonna this one nice and there it is. So um it's still kinda funky looking, but it's it's definitely uh, as clean as I can get it. <sighs> There's another trick to removing all of that funk. I'm all ears, but um <laughs> Honestly, probably what you're going to want to do with one of these 
thing. So let's go ahead and work on this. So um, take out my basket. I'll just like, you know, agitate it in the water just to try to loosen up the goo. Because it's like a goo, you know, it is, it's oil, it's fat, but it's a non-stick, um, it's a non-stick fryer basket, so the stuff comes off pretty easily. I mean, already it's such an improvement. All right, let's put that to the side. So that's a little stuck in the bottom. I'm going to um, get a paper towel and clean that. And then I'll show you how it looks when I'm done. Okay, so the thing is, you want to get, like, let me show you this. Let me get really into where these little groups are. That's where you want to put most of your effort in terms of scrubbing out. And it's not going to be perfect unless you're, like, willing to sit there and uh, use, like, a, a soft towel or a cloth or something and really um, super carefully clean each little slat. I'm not going to do that. That's just a little too much. But um, the biggest pieces of the stuff, I definitely will get out of there. And, you know, how often you have to do a, a deep clean like this is going to be how often are you using the fryer. And, um, frankly, what are you cooking in there? So, I mean, that's really nice. That's super clean. Um, and that's ready to be dried. And we'll put it back um, into the, um, the main basket and it'll be ready for use. So there is the nice freshly cleaned main basket and then here's the fry basket, which it's not perfect, but it's much cleaner than it was. <laughs> and, um, you know, we've been using this pretty regularly for about a year. So I would say another year and we'll probably be ready for another one just because you can only clean them but so much. Um, but, you know, I think it's worth, um, you know, the investment in doing that because I use it so much and it's such a time saver and I just love the way the food tastes. So anyway, that's how I clean uh, my Cook's Essential air fryer and I hope you find it helpful.